Understanding Island Territory, a Comprehensive Guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic. The meaning of the phrase, island territory. This concept is not only interesting in terms of geography, but it also holds significant cultural and political implications. So, let's dive in and unravel the layers of meaning behind this phrase. Island territory is a compound noun, combining two words, island and territory. An island is a piece of land surrounded by water, while a territory refers to an area of land under the jurisdiction of a ruler or state. When these two words come together, they describe a specific type of geographical area. Let's explore each component in detail. First, let's focus on island. An island can be large or small, inhabited or uninhabited. It's distinct because it's surrounded by water, which can be an ocean, sea, lake, or river. Islands can be found all over the world and have unique features depending on their location and formation process. Now, let's look at territory. This term implies control or ownership, often by a government. A territory can be a large area, but it doesn't necessarily have the full status of being an independent country. It's important to note that the term can also imply a sense of belonging or identity for the people living there. When we combine these terms, an island territory refers to an island or group of islands that is governed by a country, but not necessarily part of it. These territories often have their own local governments but are under the sovereignty of another nation. Examples include Guam, which is an island territory of the United States, and the Falkland Islands, a British overseas territory. Island territories often have unique cultural identities, influenced by their geographical isolation and the blend of local and ruling country cultures. Politically, these territories can be subjects of international disputes and discussions about sovereignty and self-determination. I hope this exploration of island territory has been enlightening and enjoyable. Understanding such terms helps us appreciate the diverse and complex world we live in. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next English language adventure together. Stay curious and keep learning!